North Lamb Spring Creek Utility Interconnection Project Phase 2. Mr. Pritchard, Mr. Dow. The utility departments requested bids for the North Lamb Spring Creek Utility Interconnection Project Phase 2. This project will consist of installing the 16 inch uh, water main to connect North Lounge and to the Spring Creek water system. And it also includes relocation of the booster pump station to ensure adequate flow and pressure to the Bemis area. And attached, you'll have copies of your bid tabulation, notice of award, and associated contract. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, you will note in your packet there is a bid tabulation sheet of all <coughs> bids that were submitted. We have received a protest from one of the bidders based on failure to comply with bid requirements. Um, there is only, based on that appeal, that there is only one bid that would meet that requirement. I've asked the attorney to review um, this information. There was a review of several court cases, and I will ask Jim to comment if y'all would like, but it appears as it has in previous bids that uh, it, the board has an option to review this as a viable technicality and uphold the protest, or they have the option to ignore the, the technicality and accept those bids, certainly based on the opinion of the commission. Is that right? I think that that's correct. Um, with the, the caveat, I think that the the technicality <clears throat> bids, uh, bid the bid requirements were for the um, bid numbers to be submitted on yellow paper the purpose of the yellow paper was to make it easy for the um, engineers and for the uh, reviewers of the bids to easily access those uh, bid numbers that uh, requirement has been in the hands of our um, or has been a part of the engineering firm level and associates for 10 years or better and um, that was the technicality that was raised on the protest thank you we, we've used the the term bid requirement a couple of times already um, what I'm a little bit confused about is the bid tabulation sheet, you know, they're checking the boxes on everything, but that particular issue is not on the bid tabulation sheet. So really for me, it boils down to, is it a requirement? So, and I don't know who can answer that question. I mean, I, you know, if, if, if the bidders were told to put it on a yellow piece of paper, I mean, as, as trivial as that may sound, if it was a requirement that it be on yellow paper, it's no different to me in my mind that the license number and and, and all the other requirements be met. So, so really, that's what it boils down to for me. And I don't know who to ask that question of. Is it a requirement that it be on yellow paper? It was listed in the bid documents. And um, the only reference I can give back to you, Commissioner, on that is... Uh, it is an item that is similar to the requirement to place the construction number on a bid packet. The determination as to the, it being a um, important uh, requirement that is left to the board's determination according to the court cases that were reviewed and it is simply a decision that the board can make. I had a question. Let me, let me add this um, from the standpoint. What you've heard is basically two options. You can acknowledge the technicality and accept the bids. Um, you can um, ignore the technicality and bid it to the low, low bidder and just that. 
the other option would be is that based on these documents we really only have one qualifying bid so with just having one qualifying bid you could request that this project be rebid as an option now it does push that project back a little bit because you'll still have to advertise and you'll have to rebid it uh, but that is you might say your third option that you do have to move forward with this issue when was it due to begin once awarded uh, mr. Dowdy when was the project due to begin if once it's awarded immediately okay yeah that's the question I have but also I, I want to know um, are all these um, bidders local I know no, we do. I know we do have the no. pre we have the five percent preference, and that's why I was thinking about in that it calculation. Two percent. A two percent preference and how it would come into play. Yeah, I, this is a two point eight percent difference, according to the calculations by those that receive the bids. So the two percent would, wouldn't change anything. I thought it was five. Two point eight percent. It's two percent. Is the, is the, the amount that we the amount of acknowledgement bids. for local bidders is two percent this difference is two point eight percent what I'm saying is if they didn't meet the requirements of the bid then their numbers are irrelevant at this point because they did not meet the requirements that's all I would ask that my fellow commissioners consider well I think you've added that then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Any other questions or comments for Mr. Stowdy or for Mr. Pritchard? 